Hi everyone, and welcome to News and News for October the 19th, 2023. We are now into the back half of October, which means Halloween is approaching. I've got a couple of uh, local events I want to call your attention to, but these are by no means the only things going on. We are into fall supper season, so there are fall suppers happening all over the place. Check around, see where those are happening. Um, we've also got an Oktoberfest coming at the Legion on October the 27th. That's the Legion here in Mipua. Um, I believe this is a first time event. I'm not 100% sure, but that sounds like a lot of fun for people. The following day, October 28th on Saturday is a haunted forest. This is for uh, all ages in town. They're having uh, a couple of different age groups. One is a little less scary, one's a little more scary. Being put on by the town of Mipua in partnership with the Kin Club, uh, Settlement Services and Philcan. So check out their Facebook page for more information about that one as well. On our show today, we were down at Manawaka Gallery for their new show. This is Perspectives by Ron Nordstrom, which are a series of photo manipulations. Um, so that is on. Uh, we talk, they've talked to Ron, got a, a bit of a, a backstory on how he came up with his, his techniques for doing this art and a good look at the show. So it's on in the Manawaka Gallery till the end of this month. And as well, we were down at What's the Big Idea, the eighth annual What's the Big Idea, which is an entrepreneurship event. We have lots of coverage of that event coming up in the next couple of weeks. We try to get as much as we can um, just to help out, you know, local uh, business owners, people with ideas and just people wanting to learn a bit more. But today on the show, we have some short interviews with the entrepreneurs who were showing at this year's event, um, you know, what they're all about and what uh, What's the Big Idea is all about. So check that out on the show today. If you have anything coming up or anything you want us to know about, please do get in touch with us. You can reach us 204-476-2639 or by email nactv at wcgwave.ca. So that is our show for today. Enjoy and see you next time. Hi, I'm Marilyn Crew, Economic Development Officer for the Town of Nipua, and we're here just wrapping up the 8th Annual What's the Big Idea event. How many years has it been running? So we started in 2015. This started as a cooperative effort between uh, Minidosa and Nipua Economic Development. But right now, with Minidosa between Economic Development Officers, I'm looking after the event today. So how many entrepreneurs do we have today? So today we had seven pitches, five of them were from the Nipuan area and two from Minidosa. How do you think the day went? I think, well, I think every year a big idea yep. is a successful event. It's really great to bring entrepreneurs together with support agencies and the support of the event sponsors and award sponsors just makes it um, a successful event for the businesses um, for all the effort that they make to do their pitches. And we had some excellent judges there. Yes, um, this, the event sponsors have the opportunity to put forward a judge and so um, this year we had uh, two judges that hadn't done it before and one that was an experienced judge So, and, and they all enjoyed the experience and said they would do it again. I think the, the lunch went over very well. Oh, lunch sponsored by High Life, you can't go wrong. So yeah, we're very fortunate to have High Life as the lunch, lunch sponsor and JP made an excellent meal for us. How much preparation does it take to put this on? Mm, it's, it's a little bit of my day, but starting from early in August, I start the planning, you know, ensuring that uh, event sponsors are back on board for another year, award sponsors are happy with the cash awards that they're giving. Um, so yeah, it's three months in the making, but for me, when I have a consult with a new business startup, anytime from now until next year, um, I'm always mentioning the potential of what's the big idea, ninth annual for 2024. Anything you'd like to add to uh, the, the entrepreneurs this year or potential ones for years to come? Well, if, if you have a business idea, John or someone you know, let them know that they can come and talk to me at the Economic Development Office anytime and I'm more than happy to help them with their business startup. Yeah, and our, our town grow.
Stellar apparel is sort of a casual, um, elevated clothing to workwear as well as kind of local Canadian sourced giftware. We have from jewelry to bath soaps to perfumes. Um, yeah, sort of a city feel without the city stress. It's trying to get those essentials that makes you be able to stay at home and not have to travel and that sort of thing. Nice. So what is the advantage for you of coming to an event like What's the Big Idea? Um, networking, getting our name out there, um, basically getting some understanding and knowledge from other people who have been in businesses, um, the pros and cons and things to um, possibly do, like learning more about financial supports from mm -hmm. their businesses. And so stuff. definitely the speakers are really yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's just nice to see what else is going on and see yeah. that our community is growing strong with entrepreneurs and businesses that are uh, opening up and starting in our area. So okay. thank you very much. So my name is Kim Moffat and I am the owner, operator and head grower at Little Garden Next Door located in Minidosa and we grow lettuce, herbs and greens year round on vertical walls from Harvest Today. When did you start this? So we started this business in March of this year uh, and we're incrementally growing as we find the time and space and uh, yeah we're hoping to expand into our recycled repurposed garden greenhouse within the next year. Mm -hmm. Talk me through the process of uh, this. <laughs> So the process is um, we start our seeds uh, in seed trays just below, utilizing the supplemental lights, and then every three weeks we pop on a new plant. So we're able to, our herbs are original to the wall, so they're six plus months old. Um, we just keep cut and come. And then our lettuce, we get about three uh, harvests off each plant, lettuce plant before we pop it off and start another one. Mm -hmm. So uh, interested customers, what? Yep. So we have, we supply two restaurants in Minidosa right now, so Main Street Cafe and Farmhouse 50. Farmhouse 50 takes herbs for all of their fresh soups, and the lettuce part goes to Main Street Cafe. Then we started a CSA program uh, just last week and sold out within an hour. So we provide lettuce boxes, uh, salad boxes once a week, and they come for pickup or delivery. And uh, those are by the monthly basis. And then we're open to the public for sales Monday to Friday, 10 till four. Good morning. I am here in an official capacity today. <laughs> How are you? Good thing. Good. Do you want to give me a quick synopsis of what uh, what you've got here? Okay. So we are here with our new store, Hidden Hollow. Um, just not quite 11 months old because we opened it at the end of November last year. Uh, so we've just got a little booth here, a little setup of some of the uh, articles that we sell. We've got our kids section, our baby section now. We have games and crafts. We have squishy toys, which are a huge thing right now. Yeah, everything is squishy. We have candy and cool drinks. Uh, musical instruments, there's an accordion in the back, a little mini accordion. Books, puzzles, indigenous products. Um, and we're starting to get a few different types of stuff like this. So what is the advantage for you of being at an event like What's the Big Idea? Um, we're here as a marketing tool for the business. Daryl still has people coming in, even from town, saying that they didn't know we were there. Like even with the mural there. Okay. It's their first time in, maybe you've just seen the mural or something. So uh, yeah, we're just we're trying to get the word out still that we're there. Okay. And are any of the speakers here uh, helped or helping out with with things as well? 
Uh, yeah, like there's there's information for everybody. I think um, that you're always going to pick something up that maybe you didn't know or that you forgot. Uh, I really enjoyed Janelle's speech, speech this morning about her bad dog products. Um, just to, she, she's a hard worker. She's working really hard and doing well with her business. So that's good to hear in a small rural community that that uh, everybody can do well. Great. Thanks so much. Thanks, Rain. So what do we have going on here? Well, um, so I operate a business in the Mountain Avenue, and uh, since I've been there, the basement in particular building that I'm in was William. Built in the late 20s, operated until uh, late 60s, early 70s, after Evans Lanes got going, and then it kind of closed. Since then, it's been sitting and waiting for the right time. So, uh, basically what I'm going to talk about today is uh, what we can do to get a business like that operating again. Amazing. And that tells me exactly where you are. So, yes. I, know where that, I know where that is. Uh, so, the advantage of being here is just being able to talk about the project. And, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, being able to pitch it, uh, the opportunity for not only financial assistance, but there's lots of... Uh, there's lots of... Uh, Groups here that can help more with just advice and uh, steering in the right direction for uh, starting a business like that. Right, exactly. Good morning. Um, I'm Kristen Clark. I'm the sole owner of Authentic Skin located in Minnedosa. That is medical injections of Botox, Dermafiller, PRP, deoxypolic acid treatment, and medical grade skincare which cannot be bought over the counter or in the drugstore. This is prescription grade sold by a medical professional. All right, and what is the advantage for you of coming to an event like What's the Big Idea? Um, I'm excited to get my name out there and build my business. Um, my goal is for education, prevention of the skin care. <laughs> All right. And so are you here mostly for the networking, the speakers, the, the prizes? Um, I'm here to, actually I really like learning from other entrepreneurs. Um, that's where I've learned the most from my business, is from other yeah. business owners that are my friends in Minnedosa. They have like literally shown me the ropes for how to start a business, because me being a nurse, I'm all science space so the business was yeah. a huge learning curve. Suddenly there's marketing and there's all sorts yes. of other things going on. Yeah. So much. So yeah, like learning from other people is the best way I find for your business. <laughs> Do you want to give me your quick pitch of what you've got going on? Sure, yeah. So I guess I'm kind of expanding uh, my side business of uh, visual fine art. So I kind of do three things. I do commissioned paintings where somebody can have a vision themselves and I can bring it to life for them. Um, I also do signature collections where I uh, paint like 10 to 12 paintings of a similar theme and then I do a live auction and the auction, all the pieces start at $500 for the starting bid price. Um, this is to make original art a little bit more accessible and it also makes like buying art a little bit more fun. I usually do it with like an event with a live uh, musician. Um, and then I also do paint night activities. So that's where um, I come in and do like a wine and paint event in different communities kind of in our area. And then I, am, I actually, so four things. I also am doing murals for businesses. So like the one I did at Apollo. Um, yeah, to kind of like help brand a business and like, you know, help hopefully increase revenue. Fantastic. Yeah. So what does an event, like what's the big idea do for you? Um, you know what, I've learned a lot so much for today. Like it's, it's great for networking, but I've talked to some people who like, you know, are experts in um, marketing and then I've learned a lot about some financing options it's cool just to see the other ideas and be able to see other entrepreneurs you know it's not easy kind of starting a business and there's so many different areas so it's really cool to be able to like have some like you know different minds and people coming together and sharing their ideas and how they've like overcome some of the hurdles yeah. great thank you very much yeah you're welcome Thank you for coming to my first and probably, let's face it, only art show that I'll ever have. So, <laughs> um, uh, the, 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 it, this technique, I suppose, is, is different for most people. Some people have asked in the past, 
um, it looks like a print. Where is the original? Can I get the original? The original is on a computer. Um, all of these pieces of uh, work of art here were originally photographs. And so what they are, are the, I guess a conglomeration of photographs that I've taken over the past, I don't know, 10 or more years. Um, then COVID happened and I had nothing to do. And so I sat down and I was just going to take some of these photographs and tweak them a little bit just to bring up the color and stuff like that. And I started just pushing buttons uh, with this program and I, I discovered that if I pushed a, a combination of about 100 buttons, it, it eventually it looks like a piece of art. And so I started playing with that and um, during COVID and I kind of grew from that. I started getting addicted and, and I like to think I got a little better at pushing those 100 or so buttons. <laughs> And, uh, and, it, and trying to control what I was doing. And one of my, I like the Impressionist artists. I like lots of color. And maybe you'll be able to tell some of the pieces. I kind of like a little bit of the abstract as well, especially this, you know, something like that. That's New York City, believe it or not. Um, so I, I do like those kinds of things. And so I, I push buttons and try to get it, a picture to look like I envisioned it would be if I could paint it. The problem is, I can't paint, but I can push buttons, and so that's uh, that's how this art was created. So there are no originals. Uh, the originals are a computer file and a photograph, and it's just changed to eventually kind of look like a painting, and some are, I think, probably more successful than others, but that's the process. So with 100 buttons, can you replicate? It's pretty hard to replicate, so you get pretty lucky. That's just it. Sometimes I'll do something, I'll like, whoa, I really like that effect. I'm going to try that again, and I try to remember the steps, and eh, it either works or it doesn't. And some of the pieces I'll, I'll work on, I'll have a vision for it, and I'll just push, I mean, I, it's, it's not random buttons, right? It's, uh, you're, you're trying to do something, and it just won't work, and so you throw it all out, and you start over, and you throw it all out, and you start over, and eventually you just throw the picture out, because it just doesn't work. So, you know, sometimes it takes, it takes uh, seven or eight tries to figure out that it doesn't work, and sometimes it works on the first try. You never, you never know. Uh, but it's uh, some people look at the art and think, "Oh yeah, it's computer art. I, I got a program that does that." And on their iPad, they push a button, one button, and there, it's a watercolor painting. Mm. Not really. It's you know, it's it's a little different process than that. It's not a one button kind of process. Anyways, um, take a look around. I've sort of sort of organized it into themes. I like taking pictures of old buildings. Um, um, historic buildings or you know you know those kinds of things that's why you see so many old buildings and that's kind of the theme over here over here is kind of the prairies and some of the uh, historic buildings I suppose and, and objects in the, in the prairies we sort of organized that way uh, we got a little bit of animals and people over here and we've got uh, a little more people over here and then some really old stuff over here, uh, old rusted stuff, and then kind of some trips that we've been on. I have way more pictures, but this is the space that we had, so this is what we have. Most of these pictures, and I'll tell you, like 95% of the pictures I took, some I did not. I was just experimenting. For example, um, the pictures over there, Bob Dylan and, and Jimi Hendrix and B.B. King, I didn't see those guys a lot. I did not take those pictures a lot. I found them, and I, I wanted to find, uh, I, I, I love musicians, uh, so I wanted to find those people in a, in a really expressive pose, and I did find those pictures, and then I messed around with them there. So, are they all my photos? No, um, but most of them are, and there's a story behind pretty much every photo that I took anyways. So, thanks for coming, take a look around, and why is nobody standing here with a wine glass in their hand? Yeah. Hey, there, 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 there is wine, there is <laughs> beverages, so like, well, help yourself. And Mabel and ask questions, uh, yeah, if you like. Meanwhile, thank you to Larry Chapman for not only connecting the choir, but for coming here tonight and playing for us. So he's going to play <laughs>